Hi everyone, welcome back to a new year and a new episode of Refrigerant Checkup with Dr. Chuck. Today I want to talk to you about a pretty important subject, one we've dealt with for quite a while in our industry, but it's only going to get more important this year and in subsequent years going out into the future. And what I'm talking about is refrigerant reclaim, recycling, and recovery. The three R's of refrigerant management, I call it. So as our industry gets more and more pressure to uh, be in good environmental stewards. We hear terms like circularity and resource efficiency. And by resource efficiency, we mean getting the most out of every pound of refrigerant gas we manufacture, every pound of metal we put into an air conditioning or refrigeration system, every kilowatt of power we consume. We want to put as much of that to work, uh, serving our customers, doing the cooling and the heating jobs we need. So let's just start off with a few definitions. First, recover. When we use the term recover, recovery, we're really talking about the physical act of taking refrigerant out of a system and into a separate container. Then when we say something like recycle, that typically implies we're putting the refrigerant fluid back into the system after we recover it. And there may be some uh, minor cleanup, some filtering. We may remove non-condensables, filter out moisture, dirt, oil residue, that type of thing. I think the most important of the three R's, however, is reclaim. And that's where the refrigerant is recovered and then taken back to a certified reclaimer, reprocessed, repurified to meet virgin specifications. So not only non-condensables, moisture, oil residue, but also the organic purity of the refrigerant fluid itself. If it's a multi-component refrigerant, making sure those are all in proper specifications. So uh, you know, why is Reclaim even more important these uh, days? Uh, for a couple reasons, and most of it is regulatory driven. But as we go through the HFC phase down, which is beginning now, in those numbers, reducing the amount of HFCs we have available for the industry, there is a gap between supply and demand. And the thinking behind that is that a lot of that gap can be made up through reclaimed refrigerants. And so that has been and will always be uh, an important use of reclaim refrigerants. But now for the first time, OEMs under some of the new regulations are going to need access to reclaim refrigerants as well to meet some of their regulatory goals. So there's going to be a lot of interest uh, in reclaim refrigerants in general. So it's a good time for all of us to step up. Contractors have been doing this for years, but you know, during regular maintenance, service calls, especially at end of life, it's important to get and recover every pound of refrigerant we can out of those systems to meet the needs of our industry going forward. So as we kick off this new year, I think it's a great time to double down on training around recovery and reclaim. Uh, how do we do it safely? Best practices. Uh, for instance, how do we f calculate the fill weight on a recovery cylinder? How do we know how much refrigerant we can put into that safely? There's training around that you can get, you can get refreshers on. As we move to A2L refrigerants, getting properly rated recovery equipment so that when we recover mildly flammable refrigerants, we can do that safely as well. You may have all heard that 410 is going to go away. It's going to be replaced by uh, predominantly 454B. That's an A2L mildly flammable refrigerant. So we want to make sure our reclaim game is up to snuff when it comes to uh, mildly flammable refrigerants. That's going to be important in the future. Uh, reducing the environmental impact of our industry is something we all can do and we all should do. So as we start off this year, I think it's a good time for all of us to rededicate ourselves and refocus on those three R's of refrigerant management. They're going to be more important than ever. Recovery, recycling, reclaim. As always, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions at all for us, we have a lot of training available. We have a lot of engineers. We're always there to assist you. Please reach out to the Opion team here at Camores, and we'll be glad to help you. Please stay safe out there. Have a great day and talk to you soon.